So to approach our, our, uh, traveling salesman problem, we're going to use what's called a heuristic algorithm. Uh, now this is one that, um, is not optimal. So this is not optimal, which means sometimes it doesn't give us the best answer. But hopefully it gives us a better answer than just randomly guessing. Uh, so, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a try here. Uh, so the way the nearest neighbor algorithm works, and this is our first heuristic, is we pick a starting point. So let's go ahead and use A as our starting point. At every point along the way, we move to the nearest or short, cheapest, uh, next visit, unvisited vertex. So we're gonna look and say, what are my choices? I can either go to B, to D, or to C. This path has a cost of 4, this path has a cost of 1, this path has a cost of 2. I like cheap, and so I'm gonna go this way down to D. So I'm taking the cheapest route. Now notice this is what's called a greedy algorithm. Uh, we're always taking the cheapest route, uh, that we can find. So now from D, I look at my options, either 9 or 8. I don't want to go backwards, right? So we're gonna ignore the already visited vertices. A and here this 8 is my cheapest, uh, path. So now my options are either well, I really only have one option, because I don't want to go back to the beginning yet, because I need to visit every vertex. So my only option now is to go over here, and then to get back to the start, my only option is to go that way. And we ended up with the circuit A, D, C, B, A. A, D, C, B, A, right? Uh, and the total cost there is what? 1 plus 8 plus 13 plus 4 is 26. Wow, that uh, was like the worst circuit in the graph. So it turns out that, like I mentioned, nearest neighbor algorithm is not always optimal. And here's a case where it certainly gave us a non-optimal result.